for our Shake It Up weekend. The sky started to look like that. And hail came down. The sky still looks pretty ugly. Actually, it looks really ugly. We have inches of water in our backyard. And this. You know, Shake It Up weekends are supposed to teach us about how to handle different things. And we're going to learn how to handle this. So far, it doesn't look like anything was injured. It fell next to the rig, not on top of the rig. <clears throat> I can't quite get around to the other side yet, but I think we're gonna be okay. We're just gonna have to cut it and move it. I know my husband, we will probably leave it until we come back because no harm, no foul, it's already on the ground. And hopefully the storms will pass soon and we can get on our way and start having some fun. But the skies, they are angry and they actually look a little scary. start to our shake it out trip and we're starting it with a bang literally yeah bang of the tree falling and just barely hit the front of the RV thankfully it didn't go through the windshield yeah I'm thankful for that I'm thankful that we were safe during that heck of the storm I did learn something important We don't get stabilizer jacks. I'm going to need to make sure I carry uh, C bands <laughs> for a long storm because I was getting a little seasick there. Dramamine. So I don't want to take Dramamine, but the C bands work pretty good. So I'm not going to keep this on long because I don't want to distract us as we're driving because we're expecting that there might be some down trees and the storm hopefully has done has rolled through and it looked like there was a big storm bigger storm headed. Yeah, and hopefully the audio right and hopefully the audio on this is okay because we don't have a microphone on and we've got the air conditioner trying to dehumidify the inside so hopefully it's not too loud to uh you can hear us so i'm going to turn it off I'd like to report that thankfully on our way to the destination, there were no downed trees. There was some roadside flooding, as you'll see in these images as we drive. We were headed to Chester State Park in Chester, South Carolina. Some fun facts about Chester State Park. It was built by the Civilian Conservation Corp, or the CCC. There are 16 state parks in South Carolina that were built by the CCC. It has a 160-acre park for boating and fishing, but no gas-powered boats are allowed. It has a 1.3-mile nature trail, and you'll see some images later of us from our hike. It is a 523-acre park. It has 25 campsites. It's an 18-hole and a 9-hole disc golf course, and there's a really beautiful footbridge that you'll also see images of later. Uh, where you can fish and observe the wildlife. They have picnic shelters for rent that are near the lake. It was just a gorgeous time, as you will see in the images coming up, and we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves.
<laughs> really? Now I got the energy. <laughs> on my bicycle walk, going up this hill yesterday. Does this mean I get to hold on to you and you drag me up? <laughs> oh, that feels good. <laughs> into COVID. Yep. We're actually hitting the road a little. Yep. I felt am... so good to get out of the house. It did, didn't it? It really, really needed that. You know what I really liked is that everybody was in the campground was really respectful. You saw they people were. wearing masks when they needed to. You saw people staying away from people that they didn't know, but still being social. Yeah. Like there was a lot of hellos and goodbyes, but you know, it was, I think the closest anybody got to us was like 10 or 12 feet even. Mm, walking down that trail, even when we stopped, and got off the side of the trail for them to pass. Mm -hmm. You know, we were within five feet maybe. Yeah. We could have moved a little farther off. Right. But you know, I felt safe. I felt so, so safe. And I feel relaxed and I feel like I've done something normal. Yes. I think for me, that's been the nicest part of this weekend. Um, you know, we're using it as a shake it out weekend to try and learn about our RV. You know, we learned about a lot. I learned a lot. It's her second time being in the RV for a weekend. Yeah. 
So, you know, it's a learning curve. So, uh, a thunderstorm and hail and a tree falling on the rig was the way we started the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we started out with the black cloud. Yes, literally took down the only tree we had in our house, in our yard. Yep. And, well, it hit the front of the rig, but it hit it hard. I heard it go thump. I heard it go thump, and I looked when we got to the campground, and I didn't see any scratches in the paint, so I think we're good. Right. So we know we missed, we forgot to pack a few things. We packed overpacked on other things. I think that's normal. Remembering where to put things. Yeah, remember when we you okay. found the perfect place to put it. Yep. You know, now it's like, oh, where was that place again? <laughs> I discovered I need something that I can sit outside in that I can take a nap in. Ah. So I need a, I need some kind of chair that folds up small enough to store with us. I can sit outside on a nice afternoon because yesterday afternoon we were going to go kayaking, but thunder clouds rolled in, so we we're like, oh, we don't want to be out on the lake yeah. with lightning and thunder. So we did go kayaking, but the storm bypassed us. It was just on the edge of us. But the nice Turn part about it is it dropped the humidity and the temperature, and man, I could have used a nap. We hiked and we used our bicycles though. I just went in the in the rig and laid down and took a nap in the air condition. Well, there is that too. Um, but you know, for our, our test run, we're 30 miles from home. Mm -hmm. Got to spend a weekend here. Very relaxing. We've got to figure out how to do the air conditioner so he doesn't freeze at night and I don't get too hot at night. Yes. So we're going to have to play with the air conditioner a bit more. And I'm actually wondering, we, are, we have two air conditioners, one in the house part and one in the back of the garage. And I'm actually wondering that, once, and the one in the garage doesn't work right now. So I'm wondering if at night, once we fix the one in the garage, if it would actually be nicer to have the one in the garage running and then just a fan in the house so that cold air is not blowing on you and there's enough air circulation that we don't have cold air blowing on us but we're still comfortable. It might be worth trying once we fix that back air conditioner. The front one is a stronger air conditioner. Oh, okay. So I don't know how well it would work. Okay. You know, we'll figure it out. I mean, that's such, to me, that's something so minor about what... We're learning. Yeah, yeah. I also learned that it's difficult to, you know, we brought the Blackstone griddle and we were cook we cooked out all of our meals outside. We didn't use the kitchen at all except for to make Turn coffee and the dishes chocolate. and chopping veggies. But we didn't use the stove. And I'm wondering if I, I need, it would be nice to have some kind of tray that I can carry everything in and out with easily, easier. Yeah, that is actually, I mean, don't you have the big oval shape? I do have a big platter that I forgot platter. to pull out, until, and I actually just forgot about it until just now. Yeah. So I have a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think for a shake it out weekend, this was really a fun weekend to bring our confidence up, to figure out what we what like to, what we don't like that we have in the rig. I forgot to bring a big mixing bowl, so I was going to make a cucumber a yogurt dill kind of thing, and. I didn't have a bowl big enough to mix it all up in, so we didn't have that yesterday for lunch. But we had a, we had plenty of food though. I forgot to buy coleslaw. And you forgot that would have been so good. After when that we night, the hamburgers, some God. coleslaw. Yeah, yeah would have been good. We've got a trip planned in three weeks. Yeah. We're gonna be gone for ten days. I think it's gonna end up being about ten days. We're gonna. Go to the ocean. Go to the ocean. So we're going to spend three days near Charleston, South Carolina. We're going to spend five days, four or five days in the ocean, and then a couple days somewhere else on our way home. She's the plan. I am the plan. I was surprised we used all of the new leveling blocks to level it. Big lesson learned there. Um, even order though, two more. <laughs> order more. First of all, order more. The second is that um, while the description, this, this we were staying in a state park, and the South Carolina State Park sites, when you go to, you choose your own site when you make reservations, and they give you a picture of the site, 
and they described the site and every single site in this particular campground was labeled as level and every single camper had leveling blocks yeah. and jacks up on levels and so it what they that, call levels lesson learned sites are not level even when they say they're level but it, you know it's not a big deal you just yeah. a lot of leveling blocks have the pieces um, to do it yeah